Arkansas workforce is shrinking. The demand for hardworking, skilled technicians is higher than ever. The opportunity for young people to find steady, engaging work is growing. The path to a bright future is at your feet. Let's start building tomorrow's workforce on Be Pro, Be Proud, Path to Success. Your path to success could lead you to a facility such as this, the Tyson Foods Chicken Hatchery in Springdale, Arkansas. Countless professional opportunities await you here at Tyson Foods. Whoa, whoa, whoa. While many of the Be Pro, Be Proud technical opportunities come with on-the-job training, you still have to take a quick test before you can dive in. Slap on your thinking cap, grab your trusty number two, and settle in for the Path to Success Aptitude Quiz. quiz. Question number one. Are you detail-oriented, goal-oriented, reward-oriented, or break-oriented? Question number two. Would you be more likely to help someone who is crying, solve a computer's warning message, fix a broken toaster, or mend an unspooled sweater? Question number three. Would you rather read a repair manual, Homer's The Iliad, a comic book, or Cat Fancy? That's it. Easiest test ever, right? All right, let's tally up those scores. According to your test, you are detail-oriented, like to fix things, and don't mind getting your hands dirty. You are a natural born maintenance technician who on average bring home 45K per year. And top earners in the field can earn up to $93,000 per year. But wait, what even is a maintenance technician? Imagine you drop your iPhone, your second favorite knee smashes your TV, or your car breaks down and there's no one in the world to fix it. I know! <gasps> Nightmare fuel, right? We're here at the Tyson Foods Hatchery to learn a few things. What does it mean to be a maintenance technician? What kinds of opportunities does Tyson Foods have for Arkansas graduates? And maybe most importantly, which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> maintenance technicians are the key to any facility running smoothly and efficiently. They're the problem solvers, the day savers, Maintenance technicians are the heroes of the industry. Wes is one of over 6,500 Arkansans working for Tyson across the state. And he's been working robotics at the hatchery in Springdale for over four years now. Who knew there were robots and chickens right here in Arkansas? How smart are these robots? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's a safety thing. <laughs> How smart are these robots? Well, they're pretty well advanced. They transfer eggs from one machine to the next. They constantly just keep working and do things that I never dreamed of. Do you worry about being replaced by the very robots you maintain? No, because there's always somebody that needs to take care of the robots and maintain every piece of equipment that is with that robot. And that's where maintenance tech comes in to fix those problems that arise. So you went to school just down the road in Asylum Springs. Did you know then that you wanted to get into robotics? So I was surprised that there was even a high school program available. We had a program that talked all about, you know, different maintenance applications, electrical and things like that. I would have never known the things I know now without that program. It really helped me advance my opportunity to this career field. Wait, there was a program at your school to help you get started? Yes, that program led me straight to a meaningful job right out of high school. Ooh, we gotta find out more about that. Deep in another part of the Tyson organization is the man who started Wes's program at Salem Springs. The man responsible for bringing the knowledge to the students and young workers into Tyson. 
The industrial maintenance program that many of our Tyson team members have started with and other potential students can enroll really gives them a, a fast forward, a, a good track to be able to come into the technical trades through apprenticeship, through college education, and combine those experiences together to be able to launch their career in the technical piece. It might be robotics, automation, electrical, or all the things combined as an industrial maintenance technician. One of the exciting opportunities was to see the high school graduates come to life, be able to start their careers, not waiting until they get their diploma, but to start that transition all the way through school. So like Wes, young people that are enrolled in a technical program can begin to get acclimated to the world of work and then be able to take off to the, a lot of runway, a lot of trajectory once they graduate into the mechanical spaces of industrial maintenance. There is something for everyone at Tyson Foods, from tuition reimbursement to apprenticeship, a lot of company paid and sponsored training. So really great chance to learn more about equipment, keep your day job, or even to work nights and go to school during the day. Gives a lot of adaptability to almost anybody's work schedule. So let me get this straight. You graduated from high school and then immediately came to work as an electrical apprentice here at Tyson? Straight out of high school, came right to work and just been applying every bit of knowledge I've learned since then. And while you're getting paid for that, you're also pursuing your electrical license, which qualifies you for an even higher salary? Yes, I've been doing it for a year now, and I like three more years before I can be able to test to get my journeyman's level license. And that's gonna open up quite a few more doors, and once I get that license, the sky's the limit. Well, what's it look like? How do I get started? Let's go see. There are a lot of high-tech machines here. There's a whole lot of things that fall on my shoulders to keep everything going. I'm in charge of making sure that all the equipment around the robot cell and attached to the robot is maintained. Or I may be right here in the shop fixing small machine parts that belong to a robot. Wow, who knew all my tasty chicken nuggets and drumsticks were because of robots and those robots were being maintained by you? You're welcome. So we talked earlier about that kid from Salem Springs High School who would have never guessed that he would end up as an electrical apprentice. Looking back, what would you say to him or any other high school student who's considering a technical job? I never dreamed back when I was a kid tinkering on four-wheelers and boats that it would lead me to fixing other things and applying it to robots. If you like the technical machinery and repairing things, taking them apart and seeing how they work, then this is the job for you. Okay, time for the big question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Let me get the manual out and we'll see. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us today, Wes. Keep up the good work. Thank you, I will. Well, there you have it. Robots and chickens right here in Springdale, Arkansas. Maybe we didn't get to the bottom of the age old chicken and egg debate, but we did discover an incredible opportunity for young students across the state. Tyson's Industrial Maintenance Electrical Apprenticeship Program is a low cost, high reward alternative that sets students up not just for a summer job, but a lifelong career. Reach out to Tyson or Be Pro Be Proud for more information. See you next time.